Hello? Nah. Yeah, you want to look nah. at you? What? Nah. <gasps> Hi, B. Nah. Hello. Nah. So your nah. teeth? Where's your teeth? Nah. Baby. <laughs> nah. Nah. You get a good shower? Nah. You can go bath? Nah. Wow, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful, my dinky dinky. Look at your beautiful eyes. Oh, and your little nose. Look at your beautiful eyes. Wow. You are gorgeous. I don't do your GGs. I don't do your GGs. No, I don't do your GGs. No, I don't do your GGs. Hello. Oh, you just hit Sissy in the head. Okay, lay down. Mommy's going to put clothes on you. What's up, Middleton family? Now I'm back again with another V I G E O. And today I'm just going to do like a little video of like a day in my life. So I'm whispering right now because the kids are actually currently so sleepy. I'm going to put this tripod back on. And I'm going to show you all kind of like what it's like to cook for eight people. So, come on, Pete. I gotta get her chips. Here, baby. Go, baby. Did you have a good nap? You have a good nap, baby? Yeah. Oh, you're eating chips? Yeah? Mm-hmm. chicken cut and washed obviously there'll be a more more um, I'll be cooking a lot more than this but just kind of wanted to show y'all a little journey so the kids don't really like a lot of seasoning so we're gonna go with basil <laughs> peace hi recording yep A little bit of basil on there, or a lot of basil. Some Tonys. Can't go wrong with the Tonys. Tonys. Just a little bit of. The kids really seem to like this um, new seasoning that I got, and I really like it too. It's the Adams Reserve. House all purpose. I really like it. I'm supposed to rub it in, but you know. No, I got time for that. Okay. And I don't got much left. Of... I'm gonna do some garlic powder. Whoa. Okay. Put that all in. Oof, that looks good. All right, cooking with Carmelita Middleton. All right, so didn't have any oil, so we're gonna see how this works. I love coconut oil. My mom cooks a lot of coconut oil. We're gonna see if we can kind of like fry it in some organic coconut oil. P, hey, what are you doing? All right. 
You want enough to kind of like coat the pan. Okay. Let me set y'all down real quick. Okay. You know, you want a generous amount. Because you don't want it to like burn or anything. You want it to just kind of cook. And then with that, we're gonna make some black beans and some green beans. Um, what's it called? Vinegar in her meat. I don't know why, but she does. I'm not about to do that because I don't know why you would do that. Alright, so we're going to just kind of smell it. You take one piece of your meat and you kind of... Oh, you hear that? Okay. Watch out, baby. Now we're cooking, y'all. We're really cooking now. All right. So you want to put your chicken in the pot when it's hot like this, you know, because you don't want it to soak up too much oil or whatever you're trying to cook it with. Okay? So now that's there. We're just going to let that cook for a little bit. Come, come right back over here. Pizza, hello. All right, guys, so we got the chicken going. As you can tell, it's kind of brown on the, it's getting brown on the other side. It's cooking in that coconut oil. Mmm, smells so good already. You know, this is what it looked like before, you know, the pinkness. Definitely don't want that in your chicken. Emily, are you saying something? Tiki tiki? Tiki tiki? Yeah, are you saying something? Alright guys, go get your clothes. Go get a shower. Is this the next day? No, no, it's not the next day, baby. No, you did slept for like two hours. Y'all were tired. So go get your clothes. All right, here's the second batch of what the chicken looks like. I just got to mix it up once it goes in there. But you want to make sure that you season thoroughly your meat. So yes, we're going, so you're going to school tomorrow? Yeah, you're going to school tomorrow. Oh. Oh. It was today. No, you're not going to school today, baby. A lot better, don't you? Yeah. <gasps> Hello. You got some sleep, right? Yep, I did get some sleep too. We all got some sleep, did we, Dicky Bud? Oh, you want to record her? Well, mommy's gonna hold it. And you make her laugh? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi. Hi, 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 hi. I don't know. Oh, my God, I have a question. Yes, baby. Emma Lenny loves her unicorn. <laughs> hey, baby. It's just as big as you, Tiki Tiki. It's just as big as you. Yeah. Alright, over here we've got the chicken gun. Say hi. What are you doing? Pee. You showing them your teeth? Dance, 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 dance. Hey, everybody, dance, 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 dance. Everybody, dance, 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 dance. Everybody, hey, get it, girl, get it, girl, hey, hey, get it, girl, get it, girl, hey, hey, get it, girl, get it, girl. 
So you got the chicken going. You see it's all brown and mmm, delicious. Good job, Gracie. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, Emma Winnie, you're crying because you dropped your unicorn? Here, baby. Yeah, so. As y'all can see, the Middleton family is constantly going. I'm constantly having to check on them, constantly having to check on her. It's crazy, isn't it? It's a crazy, crazy, crazy. So this is what the room looks like. And everything has... No, baby, y'all just woke up from a nap. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah guys, so I got them into school. You really can't hear me because of the sound, so I'll, I'll talk later. Alright. gypsy and it's actually a really fun job um, sometimes we'll bring the kids sometimes we won't tonight they decided they wanted to stay with my mom and play with Aiden and that's cool that's fine it gives us some alone time as you can tell that's really never it doesn't really happen much this past week um, with having six kids um, however we're still here we're still thriving 
and we're still <laughs> we're still somewhat sane but um so yeah so Peyton wanted to tell us how his day was because I just he just got home he had to um, work a little later um, to catch up on his hours so babe thrill us with a story a mechanical story if you will which one I got a bunch of them. all right from today there's a bunch from today Okay, the one you were telling me just now. Uh, um, I was telling her about a CV, a CV joint I had to replace. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much an axle that goes into the transmission, and it. It's in the front. Sometimes on all-wheel drive cars, it's in the back. Um, so I was changing one out. All right, sorry guys. That was we had to stop real quick because we were at our destination to pick up the sign. Sign one is <laughs> complete, and we've got eight tonight. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of us. Um, all right, babe. So continue with your story. You were saying how um, something with an axle, the axle's in the front, some axles are in the back on a four wheel drive or four something. All wheel drive. Yeah. But on this one, it was in the front because it was a front wheel drive. Okay. So, um, so it was front wheel drive, I had to do a CV axle. Anyway, what I stupidly did was not look up on how to do it because I don't know why. I thought it was gonna be super simple, you know, like a Chevy. Pull it, pull it out, put it back in. But on this one, you pull it out, all the um, oil, transmission oil or whatever, CVT oil is what it was came out of the transmission <sighs> and then there was a gasket that I had to replace that I didn't know I had to replace so I got the parts in I already had the CV joint but I didn't have the gasket and I didn't have the CVT oil to go back in to the transmission so, I put the axle in, I put the uh, gasket in, I put the uh, CV, uh, CV, uh, I put the CVT oil in, and put the gasket, the CV joint, put in, the CV joint in. And then, um... <laughs> the story, bitch. I know, the GPS is messing up. So, put the CV joint back in, okay. Okay, yes, we got that. Okay, so, then I put, uh... Then I gotta find where the dipstick is. <laughs> well, it took me, like, ten minutes to find where it was at. Turns out it's on the bottom side, stuffed into a corner. <laughs> That's start for the day. Well, and then since it was stuffed into a corner, I couldn't fit the funnel down in there, so I had to jimmy some hoses together so that it was long enough to fit into the <laughs> thing. Then I got the CVT on. It was a day. It was a day, and then I got, I got, yeah, what? Two, three, two, three, three cars out, maybe? I don't know. Hey, that's good, babe. That's awesome. That's really good. So, just say it's good. You're doing good, babe. You're doing great. That's okay. But I make like four hours on every car. So, you made 12 hours today. Eight. I think it was an eight. So two cars. And then the third one was supposed to be that one, but then uh, I ran out of time. So tomorrow, I got 
four cars to do. Four? Four. I got four cars to do. I, know. I got four cars to do. Anyway, my brain is fried. Your brain is fried? Yeah, before I left, I was running around with like a chicken with its head cut off. That's me all day. Because, uh, Hey, look. I couldn't remember what I was supposed to be doing. That's where we're going tomorrow. Um, so let me tell y'all about my day. <sighs> it's been a day. I can't really go into details, but it's just been a day. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, okay, so the truth of it all is having six kids. Sorry about the camera being super shaky. Um, the truth of it all is having six kids in a seriously baby okay so having six kids in a little it's not really little our premise not little our premise is actually a decent size um having six kids in a two bedroom two bath apartment is can kind of take a toll on the kids I would say because they don't have an area to go play and they don't have an area to go outside that we don't have a backyard and it's just a lot when I have a toddler and a little baby and I just kind of feel bad so when they're able to go to my mom's house they're able to go outside and play with um, her dog Mr. Pickles is what my little brother calls him or named him and they're able to just be kids so I feel like that's why we're trying to strive harder and work harder to be able to afford a house and work harder on YouTube and work harder on my blogs and Payton's working harder. Obviously, he's working really, really hard. Payton, I started working 12 hours, 12 hour days. Yeah, Payton started to go to work, um, what, two hours earlier, right? Uh, so I get there at like 6.55 and, and it doesn't even open up until Eight, really. So are you able to start working? No. Yeah, so we're really trying our best and trying our hardest to get content out for y'all, to get blogs out for y'all. Payne's getting his work in because we just want to make the best life that we can right now for my nieces and my nephews and not only that, for us and for our children and just to not have this little, no, I want to say hiccup, this little um, adventure of our life kind of stop us from doing our goals and I feel like a lot of people when they hear about our story they're like oh my god well now you can't go to college anymore you got six kids no I did take I did take one week off of college I did and I'm not gonna lie I did I, because like I said I have to get into this new routine this new groove and so now the kids are starting school tomorrow I got them into school which is the process of getting a child into school honestly is a lot harder than someone would think and I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. Turn this way, babe. Uh, it's not. They've been coming in the neighborhood right now. Oh, GPS is not working. Um, but yeah, so I got that, got over that obstacle, that hurdle that we had to get over and now the kids start school tomorrow and they have their school supplies that got donated to them which I'm so incredibly blessed that we had people donate them. Um, Pain seriously. I haven't eaten. I have food for you. Yeah, I made you dinner. I don't have to eat. Yeah, you do. I could drive. Um, so they got the. All right, so I got their backpacks. They got their backpacks all set up with their school supplies. They got um, the clothes that they're gonna wear tomorrow. They're so excited about school, and I'm. Peyton! I'm freaking My hungry. gosh! Oh, this is Nobody can hear me if you're eating like that. Nobody wants to hear you anyway. <gasps> That's not nice. That's not nice. Anyways, um, so I'll do a vlog about that in the mornings, waking them up, getting them ready for school, getting you mean me waking them up? You're not gonna be waking up nobody. Are you kidding me right now? I don't wake up anybody. Nothing. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wake you up every single day. Every single morning, I wake you up. I don't hear my alarm clocks. You do. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, this man, I don't know who, okay, I don't know if y'all do this, and if you do this, you're just a different... Do you want your mom to see you get beat up on camera?
Oh my gosh, baked ham and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Payton literally will set an alarm for five o'clock. Okay. Actually. No, don't even tell him. No, 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 because you're gonna say, "I'm um, actually, I really don't do that," but he does. It's from five o'clock to seven thirty. One for every single minute. <laughs> it's every five minutes. Anyways, um, pause the video right here because we're at a second destination. Oh my gosh, guys! We just picked up a sign that says "Happy 60th Year Anniversary." I say that as I realize I left my ring at home. Woo! This mama got a breath. But, uh, so. I know. Oh my gosh, should that be our next vlog, babe? Well, I already got mine done. Yeah, Payne already got his done with my, the C, and I need to go get my P. <laughs> I need to go get. <laughs> Me, three years old? Years old. I don't sound like that, but I guess you I do sound, sound like that. Sound like when you're 80 years old. I'm not gonna sound like that. You think my voice will change? I think it's, if it's gonna sound like that, you can be back in a three year old. Do you think my voice will change when I'm older? Yeah. I've been smoking for 45 years. <laughs> what? I don't even smoke, Peyton. I think that's where we had, yeah, that's where we had to let go in when uh, we lay slow over here. Okay, anyways, we just picked up a sign that says happy 60th anniversary. Isn't that crazy, babe? 60 years? Uh, That's gonna be us in 59 years. Our anniversary is next. Oh, guys, our anniversary is next next weekend. Oh my god, next month. And it's our first anniversary being a married couple. And I already have Peyton's gift ordered, and it should be here this month. Yep, so, and if you guys guessed it, I don't have Carmelita's yet. Because <laughs> he doesn't care. No, it's because I don't know what you want. I want that. I can't get that. <laughs> In front of us is a white suburban. <laughs> it's because I work for them, doesn't mean that I can get that. Yeah. You, we are Chevy family, babe. We're a Chevy family, but we drive Fords, which means it makes no sense. Uh, because I like Fords way better, but I'd rather stick to Chevys. That doesn't make any sense. What? I just started at Chevy. I like Chevy. I like the people that I work with, so I went back. I never went to Ford. I love Fords. I'd never drive a Chevy, but... See, that makes no sense mm -hmm. when you start talking about it out loud. That don't make no sense. Yeah, it makes no sense. Okay, it's like you sometimes. Anyways, enjoy this little montage of <laughs> where we're going. Actually, I think we have 101. But still, we're so incredibly blessed and we're so excited to be on this journey. I did job. That was good, babe. Yeah, but I don't know 101 things to know about us. Anyways, <laughs> um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and join the what, babe? It's a pretty short list. Benton, <laughs> what do you want? like five things. Benton. <laughs> Join the what, babe? Middleton family. No. -uh. <laughs> hey, babe, that was my first elementary school. Middleton family. Wait, hold on, babe. Look, that's my first elementary school I've ever went to. Hey, look at my face. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> as I wasn't even looking at your face on the camera. All right, one more time, babe. Subscribe to the what? Middleton family. 